Hey everyone, it's April 26th, and that means that if today is your birthday, you share it with John Orr, a serial arsonist and mass murderer known as the Pillow Pyro, who killed four victims in Pasadena, California in 1984. And that is him right up there. Born in Los Angeles in 1949, Orr had a relatively normal childhood, but there was one formative incident. When a house in his neighborhood burned down, the site gave him a rush like nothing he had ever felt before. He joined the Air Force after high school and was sent to Air Force Firefighting School after basic training. After spending time at a base in Spain, he was transferred to Montana, avoiding being sent to Vietnam, and was honorably discharged in 1971. He hated his time in the military, largely because he hated his commanding officers and disliked the authority they wielded over him. Or married his high school sweetheart, and the two returned to Los Angeles, where he applied to be both a firefighter and a policeman. He failed a psychological examination given by the LAPD, and shortly thereafter, his wife left. Focused on becoming a firefighter, he tested for the LA Fire Department, but was rejected, this time for failing the written test and falling short of their physical requirements. But the Glendale Fire Department was more accommodating, accepting him into their program in 1974. They may have been less picky because they offered the lowest pay in all of LA County. Orr worked his way up to fire captain, but he held a sinister secret. He would head out to empty fields and busy stores and set small fires, pleasuring himself while watching them burn. Then when arriving on scene to investigate, he would miraculously be able to discover where and how the fire started. One fire even burned down the set of the Waltons on the Warner Brothers back lot. Orr's peers simply thought he was really good at his job, but what he was good at was setting nearly 2,000 fires in the 70s and 80s. As we've seen in recent years, fires in Southern California can quickly get out of hand due to Santa Ana winds, and in 1984, one of his fires set in Pasadena did just that, destroying a hardware store and killing four, including a two-year-old child. While investigators believed the fire was caused by an electrical short, Orr was working at the scene and insisted that it was arson. His handiwork went undiscovered, and he continued to set fires, including while at a convention for arson investigators when multiple fires broke out around the city of Fresno, and again in 1989 when a series of fires broke out near a conference in Pacific Grove. A fire in 1990 earned the firebug the nickname the Pillow Pyro for causing a fire to start among a large number of cushions, and in 1991, a task force was convened in an attempt to catch the culprit. Orr became a suspect and was tracked at the scene of a fire, being arrested in December of that year. Investigators found that he had written a novel about a serial arsonist who happened to be a fireman that he claimed was strictly based on fires he investigated and not on his life. Sure, John. Sure. He maintained his innocence, but pleaded guilty in 1993 to setting several fires, and in 1998, investigators were finally able to conclusively tie him to the deadly hardware store blades. Orr was then convicted of murder and sentenced to life in prison, where he resides to this day, reigning as the worst serial arsonist in American history. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know somebody whose birthday it is today, send in this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to John Orr, I have to say, happy birthday, you bastard.